Today I'm going to clean out the radiator area of my Model 3. I'm not aware of anyone else that has done this, so this will be an experiment for me. In my previous video on the coolant testing, I covered removing the frunk tub. Do the same procedure for this video. Some people will not call this a radiator and prefer the term of heat exchanger. This image by Monroe and Associates calls it a radiator. So if they refer to it as that, so will I. While we have the frunk tub removed, let's take a quick tour of this area. And here is what you see under it. The large plastic piece in the center is called the super bottle. It has a lot of pumps and directs coolant to different areas of the car. Since my car is a rear wheel drive, there is no front motor, just lots of empty space. Under here are the steering components, coolant lines, and high voltage cabling. Sorry for the camera shake, I forgot to turn on the stabilization. As we pull back out of this area, we will concentrate on the purpose of this video. This large plastic cover over the radiator is called the active grill shutter duct. It basically forms a tunnel for the air to flow over the radiator. The air conditioning condenser is also located in the same vicinity. Since my car has been parked outside for over a year now, I figured I might as well check inside to see if there's been a buildup of leaves inside this duct. First, to get access inside, you need to undo some clips around the outside of this plastic shell. Here is one on the right side, and then there's another on the opposite side. There are also six clips along the top of the assembly. The plastic cover lifts up so you have a few inches of clearance to get in there. However, to remove the entire cover, I found out that you have to remove the front bumper to get to the last attachment points. I'm not going to have time to do that for this video though, maybe in a future one. Peeking under the cover, you can see quite a few leaves in there. Now for some cleaning with my shop vac. I'll try my best to get most of them out. I ran the vacuum for a while and was careful not to bend the aluminum radiator fins.
There is still some debris deep down in there, but for the most part it's much better now. Now that I'm done, I just need to snap the six clips on the top. and make sure the two at the bottom are also attached well. For shame Tesla, you need to use some stainless screws for these parts. I'll vacuum up this area to get rid of any loose dirt. Here's a nice handwritten label there, definitely by a human and not a robot. Before I finish up, I also removed any bits and pieces stuck in the louvered vents below the bumper that lead into the radiator. You can see that the grill vents are actuated and open when airflow is needed. Here they are closed. There are some leaves wedged into this opening. I tried some vacuuming and some tools to remove them. I got most of them out. This last piece was the worst. This is probably something most people will not need to do, but I thought it would be interesting to show you the active grill shutter duck. I'll leave this video with some more views of the components under the frunk tub. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.